Welcome back, my name is Jack. Thanks for tuning into the video. It's my goal to help creative music makers make better music at home. This one's about controlling custom light shows via Logic Pro using Entex Emu software and this little guy, Entex Super Neat DMX USB Pro, a DMX 512 interface. Special thanks to Entex for sponsoring this video and sending out the DMX USB Pro. I've been using Entex software for almost 10 years now. I used DMXs back in the day in college. And I've been using Emu since it was released. Traditionally, I'm using Ableton Live with Entex software, but in this one, we're gonna be using Logic Pro as our DAW or as our host software. Like me, if you are familiar with using Emu in Ableton Live, this process for Logic is gonna be a little bit different. No worries though, you're still perfectly able to create beautiful and breathtaking light shows with Entex Emu software if Logic Pro is your DAW of choice. To create a light show in Logic Pro, you're of course gonna need Logic Pro, Entex Emu, a DMX compatible light fixture, your Entech DMX USB Pro DMX interface, and the appropriate cables. Let's jump into Logic to show you how I have the software set up. Be sure to check the link in the description if you'd like to download and use the template that I'm using in this video. So first things first, just go ahead and connect that DMX USB Pro via USB to your computer. And the other end, you're gonna be using your DMX out. Now it is a five pin DMX connector, so be sure to use a five pin to three pin conversion cable if you need it. That's what I'm using here. And I've got that cable ran down to my ADJ6 LED light bar fixture, which I'll be programming for this video. So here we are inside of Logic, and you can see I've got a few tracks set up here. So the bottom track is gonna be your audio. This could be anything, whatever you have in the session, whatever you want playing along with your light show. For me, it's just a little demo that I threw in there for the sake of this video. Now, your top two tracks, this is where the magic is happening with Emu. So I have Emu pulled up here, and you can see I've got my fixture loaded in right here. I'm using six channel mode, so it's gonna be red, green, blue, white, amber, and ultraviolet. If you're unsure how to set that up, it's inside patch. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna search for your specific fixture by manufacturer, and then you'll go ahead and slide that in and start it on the DMX channel that the light is set to. I've got mine on channel 31, so that's how why we have it set up this way. We'll go back to main, and then what we're gonna do is go into settings real quick and go over to the main output. You wanna make sure your DMX USB Pro is enabled. That's super important. And we're gonna go over to the MIDI settings. The way you configure this is really important as this is what's gonna allow Logic to communicate via MIDI to Entex Emu. Unfortunately, due to the way that Logic is designed, we're not able to control the parameters via automation lanes like we are in Ableton Live, but MIDI is the next best thing. Now, the first thing you need to do in the MIDI port setting is choose what port you're gonna be routing the MIDI to and from. It needs to be the same in Logic and in Emu so that it can communicate together. So I'm gonna be using my Mio XL MIDI interface and I'm gonna be using DIN 1. Now, the next thing you need to determine is which channel you're gonna be sending your program data and your bank data. You definitely don't want these to be on the same channel. So for my bank's messages, I chose channel 15, and for my programs, I chose channel 16. Now you could use other numbers, but I chose these specifically because this is the way the old DMX software used to work. Once those are set, we're gonna go ahead and click OK. But before we do that, take a look at the bottom of this menu here. This is actually where you're gonna be able to monitor the incoming MIDI messages. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're seeing stuff populate here, as that'll let you know that Logic is successfully communicating to Emu. We'll go ahead and hit OK. Now back in Logic, we're gonna to need to set up both our bank track and our program track to communicate to those two MIDI channels on our MIDI interface port. Again, channel 15 for bank and channel 16 for program. You can see I've already got these set, but I'll show you how I did that. So these are just two software instrument tracks and the first one is named Emu Bank and the second one is named Emu Program. So we're gonna go into Emu Bank and of course, we have to enable our Emu AU plugin. That's gonna be right there. And we're gonna enable our external instrument. And in here, this is where we're setting that port and that destination. And so our destination is gonna be Mio XL DIN 1 for my case, because that's gonna be the MIDI port that I'm using. And then at channel 15, we'll go ahead and close that. And then for Emu program, we've got the Emu AU for the audio effect and the external instrument for the instrument. And again, destination is gonna be Mio XL DIN 1 and MIDI channel 16. So once those are set up and enabled, you're gonna create MIDI clips and use specific MIDI notes to change both the MIDI banks and the MIDI programs inside of Emu. So for our Emu bank, let's go ahead and take a look at the MIDI clip we created. And if we go down here, it's really simple. The lowest note, C negative two, is gonna be your default bank. Every note ascending chromatically after that note or above that note is gonna be each corresponding bank. So if I open up Emu and we look here, 
under programs, banks, you can see default, we're currently only using one bank because what I'm gonna do is select this bank and then a bunch of programs. As I were to add more banks, here's bank two, here's the first bank. If I'm down here and I go ahead and click the second bank or the second note, when that note is played over in Emu, it'll switch to that bank. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, but instead of automating the banks, we're gonna automate the programs. So on my bank track, I just have a clip that's engaging the default first bank. And then after that, I'm gonna go down to my programs track. And in my programs track, I have a looping MIDI clip that's looping between the one, two, three, and fourth program. Now, if I go to Emu and I look at my program list, I've got one, two, three, and four programs. And you can see on my light, my first program is just red, my second program is green, my third program is blue, and my fourth program is amber. And so what's gonna be happening with my MIDI clip here is again, one, two, three, this is the third note, so my third program. When this note is played, it's gonna to switch to the color that's on the third program, and then the fourth program, it's gonna to switch to that color. So it's gonna be switching between blue and amber while I play this clip. So let's go ahead and play that and see what it looks like. Now here's something a little quicker with eighth notes. So to recap, all you need is a software instrument track routing to a MIDI channel on your MIDI device that's then connected to the bank changes in Emu. So for us, we're using channel 15. Then another software instrument track routed to a different MIDI channel on that same MIDI DIN port. We're gonna use channel 16 for this one, and that's gonna be changing your programs. Again, start from the very bottom of your piano roll all the way down to C minus two and work your way up, and that's gonna let you cycle through those different banks and programs. Obviously, the sky's the limit with the programming that you can do inside of Emu with their oscillations, their oscillator, and all their different program and bank settings. What we did for this one is pretty simple, but I hope it gives you an idea of how exactly you can use Emu and Entex DMX USB Pro inside of Logic Pro X. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you again so much for watching and special thanks again to Entech for sponsoring this video and sending out the DMX USB Pro. I hope you found the answer you were looking for. If you did, please consider checking out some of my other music production videos and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.